Jacksonville police are searching for answers after a teenage boy was shot inside his home. We're told the boy's mother rushed him to the hospital and he's expected to survive. This happened in the Grand Park neighborhood near West 45th Street and Avenue B. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Jones is live now. Brittany, as of now, no suspects have been caught. No, Scott, and I checked with JSO today to find out if there's any information on any updates on the suspect, and I am waiting to hear back. Well, that's what's concerning those neighbors over there because the shooter is still on the loose. We want to show you the home since we got a better picture today, and you can see the home has a lot of bullet holes. There are bullet holes in the window and on the front and side of the home. JSO tells us someone fired multiple rounds into the house where several people were inside Saturday night, and that's when a teenage boy was shot. Neighbors tell me that just before 9 last night, they heard multiple shots constantly firing off toward that home. A neighbor says they didn't know the shots were so close until they saw police arrive on scene. Neighbors who live on Dobie Street say it's fairly quiet and filled with elderly residents here. But I checked the area in a half mile of the surrounding area on the JSO crime map and I found that in the past six months there have been nearly 50 assaults, 15 burglaries, six motor vehicle thefts and two robberies. Now, the boy's mother did take him to the hospital, and thankfully, he had non-life-threatening injuries. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Brittany Jones, Channel 4, The Local Station.